America's fastest growing sport is pickleball, and it continues to explode in popularity. Players are gearing up for the Pickle Games Miami this weekend, and before you hit the court, there are some safety tips to consider. So let's turn things over now to sports physician Michael DeCac. Dr. DeCac, thank you so much for being here from the Cleveland Clinic. Now, over the past couple of years, obviously with the popularity of the sport, the number of injuries is going up because more people are playing. What are the most common pickleball-related injuries you see? Hey, well, thank you for having me here today. And a lot of things that we're seeing in the office are a little bit of overuse injuries. So that could be tendons uh, that are overused uh, as well as degenerative tendon changes. We could see arthritis and then certainly falls are something that we're seeing a lot of. Yeah, falls, you could definitely see that. What's interesting about this sport is people young and old seem to love it. So in terms of injuries, as someone who deals directly with sports related injuries, are we seeing more of them in younger or older people? That's a great question. You know, a couple years ago, it was mostly the older population that we would see this in, but one of the fastest growing areas of this sports, people age between the ages of 18 and 34. So I'm seeing much younger patients in the office now. Wow. The key is prevention, right? We want to avoid those injuries in the first place. So how can people really get ready to play with injuries in mind to make sure that they can avoid them? What the, should they be doing? That's an excellent question. Uh, I think it starts before even getting to the court. So making sure you have the proper equipment. So a good, you know, supportive pair of shoes. I always prioritize function over fashion. Uh, and we want to have the shoes to have a little bit of a softer grip, not something that's too sticky to the court. Making sure that the paddle is not so heavy because a heavier paddle can certainly put more strain on different muscles. Um, and then also when you get to the court, making sure the conditions are safe to play. So there's no debris on the court. There's no water puddles. So making sure that that's a safe area to play. And then, you know, making sure you have good technique and good mechanics for your swing. And the final thing, you know, here in South Florida is making sure you're hydrated. Just a 2% loss of your body weight from sweating during exercise can decrease your performance up to 20%. So it's very important to make sure we're hydrated while playing. Yeah, especially with the heat and humidity. Um, tell us, we know that there are risks, as you've clearly explained, but there are a lot of health benefits. So what are some of the benefits of pickleball? Certainly, and, and I think the, the benefit list is endless. Uh, sense of community and a show, social activity, and that's one of the few sports where you can actually have a conversation with people between you know points. Um, and I think just being outdoors, sometimes getting some sunlight is also a great benefit, but also getting off the couch and getting some movement is, is important because you know movement is medicine, and that's something that we can all get more of. Yeah, yeah. get those endorphins going, certainly. Mm -hmm. Well, doctor, thank you so much for talking with us today about this most popular sport. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you so much. And more than 50 pickleball courts are being set up for the Pickle Games Miami. We know that, guys. CBS Miami's Elliot Rodriguez will have a preview of the event on Friday. He's a fan. Rumor has it he will hit the court for some pickleball pointers from the pros. The event kicks off on Saturday at the Miami Marine Stadium. From tennis to pickleball. Yeah, it transitions well. <laughs>